What's going on everybody? My name is Austin from Austin's Reptile and Aquatics and today what we are doing is we're going to go over my terrarium setup for my leopard gecko and the stand, how I put it together, and how I built the stand. So sit back, enjoy, and welcome to the video. Alright, so over here what we have is we have my 10 gallon terrarium. I chose a 10 gallon because of the simple fact that I did go ahead and get a baby leopard gecko so I didn't want to get a 20 gallon and stress it out causing it to you know uh, lose its tail or possibly even die so I chose the 10 gallon I actually ended up finding this 10 gallon I cleaned it up I was gonna put some fish in it but I noticed that down here I don't know if you can see it but it's got some silicone damage and I didn't want to clean it off because that silicone damage is actually in all four corners. So what I did was I went ahead, I got some reptile carpet. I actually took the bottom of a, of a soda bottle or pop bottle, whichever you prefer to call it. Cut the bottom out and I melted the lip of it so that it wasn't sharp. And I stuck some mealworms in there, dusted it with some uh, calcium with D3. Got my water dish, which I actually need to clean and fill up. I got a half log over here, which is on the cool side, some plants. And then I actually went to PetSmart and I grabbed a cup that they put the betta fish in, cut a hole out of it, put some moss in it, and that is my um, humidity box. And then I have this rock here, which is on the hot side. And then over here, we have my stand. With the stand, all I did was I grabbed 10 pieces of scrap wood because my family makes custom furniture and plaques and all that good stuff. I actually went to their shop, looked for some scrap wood, and I built this. This stand is 20 inches long, 10 inches, or 20, 20 inches this way, 10 inches this way, 4 foot tall. And this is my stand. All I did was put it together and stain it a cherry color. You got my moss, you got my calcium right here. And then down here, which ignore all the junk because this isn't gonna be here soon, but I got my crickets and what I'm thinking about doing here is I'm actually thinking about breeding mealworms. Just buying a shelving container and breeding some mealworms here. If that's a good idea, let me know because I'm kind of skeptical on breeding mealworms. I'm kind of new to this, and then I was thinking about putting doors on it. I don't know though, I like it open. Uh, down here I got my little trash can, so I actually made it out of a, a box that I had. And then you got my thermostat here, it's called a Super Starter Heat Mat Thermostat, and then my tweezer, my tongs, tweezers, whatever you want to call them are up here. And then I went to PetSmart, bought this lid, and that's it. Uh, I did choose reptile carpet. I know there's a lot of controversy on reptile carpet, but this is what I did choose. Um, this is a te temporary terrarium. It's not something that's going to stay, so I will be updating it as I go. I'm planning on putting some driftwood in here as well, and more plants just to give it that more natural feel but let me know in the comments your opinions what you think I should do what you think I shouldn't do and overall what you think about it so this is a quick little tutorial or not tutorial it's a quick little here's my here's my terrarium and then the video is called reptiles and aquatics because eventually I will be getting you know fish and different reptiles I'm planning on getting a corn snake next yeah let me know your opinions what do you think about it
that's my terrarium. It's nothing super special. Like I said, it is a temporary setup because as the gecko gets older, I will be upgrading it into a 20 gallon terrarium. It's just something I found and decided to throw together. Um, all the things I got inside the terrarium, I actually got from PetSmart. So it, it just worked out. I like it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave the video a like. And if you want to see more, subscribe. I plan on uploading a lot of videos, so get ready.